This is my 3D printed remote control combiner. There's spring loaded buttons that push the buttons on my wireless remote controls. This remote has no tactile nubs, so it's impossible to find the buttons in the dark. I simply pop this remote into my combiner. Inside you can see a little picture frame. That sets the distance between the buttons and the remote. This is the remote for my fan, and that also just slips in as a little press fit, and the buttons work. The remote on the bottom has nice clicky tactile buttons, and you can see the light light up in the window. The top remote doesn't click, but you can see the IR transmitter. I wanted to have really raised buttons, and it would be virtually impossible to do this print as one piece, so I made the buttons separate, and they simply press into the hole on the spring-loaded tab. They're a bit tough to press in, uh, but if I lay them flat on the table and push from the backside, I can really get a lot of force and get them to click. I made the ledge of the button larger than the hole around the spring tab, so even if you press the button really hard, you won't break the tab. The button will just bottom out. In Fusion 360, I started with a photograph of the two remote controls on graph paper, and I used the calibrate function to calibrate the scale of the background image, and I traced out the frame of the remote controls and where I wanted the buttons. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to download the project and take a closer look. Here I'm adding a frame around the buttons, and that datums the remote control's height, and I'm adding a ring of thickness around each button to match the height of the buttons on each remote control. Since one of the remote controls is IR, I have to add a window to the front. I want my opening flush with the clear lens on the remote so it looks clean, and I want the opening as wide as possible so the IR transmitter doesn't have tunnel vision. Here I'm just rounding off all the edges, adding a hole for the LED indicator on one of the remotes. Again, I designed the push button with a shelf so that it can't be pressed so far down that it breaks the spring tab supporting it. I also added a lead-in chamfer on the pin to make it easier to press into the hole. All that's left now is to put the rear cover on. It attaches with six screws. And there you have it, the remote control combiner. These two remote controls are always falling off our nightstands, getting lost, and they're really fiddly to use, so... Having them combined into one big remote with tactile buttons is really nice to have. The two individual remotes have lots of buttons that we never actually use, so it's nice to have only the useful buttons brought out on this remote control. I'll admit this is a bit of a frivolous project, but it's also a good learning exercise. Anyway, if you want to download this project, I'll leave a link in the description below, and thanks for watching.